Okay. Any other questions? Yes, Washington. Run away from Shaitan. How do you run away from Shaitan? Don't run run around so much. Pull yourself back. Physically, running around, and also in your head, running around. You understand? You know what's happening in holy months now, right? <laughs> Suddenly, everything is like... Things you never thought about outside of these months, suddenly it becomes... And a small thing can affect you so much. You say, I used to, it doesn't affect me so much. Now a little thing, it, you are, yes or no? You must feel these things. So don't run around so much. When it is making you to run around in your head so much, to think about so many things and to pull you in this direction, that direction, to say, now where is the strength, where is the medad, where is this, where is that, trying to attack to your faith, pull back, pull back. Say, I'm not going to think. I'm not going to think. Tell yourself, using your will, this is a nonsense thinking. I'm going to sit and I'm going to think about the mercy of Allah. Shukur, Ya Rabbi, that you're giving me this breath. Shukur, Ya Rabbi, that you're giving me this sight. Shukur, Ya Rabbi, you're giving me this health. Ah, think like that. And give shukur. Thank you. Thank you. Simple. You understand? Oh, this is so simple. It is. It is simple. But it is not that simple to do too. Because you, you have to put the discipline there. Or are you going to go to the other side and to say, you're going to concentrate now on the wrong things that you, and just beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cry somewhere. Private, don't cry in public now. Nobody wants to see your ugly face when you're crying. Don't show off. Privately, between you and Allah, other people are sleeping. Just cry to Him and say, Forgive me. You are so merciful to me, and I've done so many things that is so ungrateful to you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Cry. Be simple. Be like a little child. Like what Shah Effendi is saying, he says, when we were growing up, we would sing in masjid. Old men, they spend two, three hours inside the masjid, just crying to Allah, begging to Allah, saying, please forgive me, begging for Allah's mercy and forgiveness and crying. We say they are such holy people, they are worshipping non-stop, and still they are sitting there in the masjid and asking Allah for forgiveness. Because this is also the month of what? Of seclusion, no? There must be a reason for that too. What is the benefit of pulling yourself back in these months leading up to Ramadan? Because Ramadan you can stop your eating and your drinking. You can stop and you can control physically your desires. But what about the eating and the drinking and the desires that is inside, not outside? Rajab and Shaban supposed to make you to understand what my ego eats and what it drinks. You understand? Not physically. What it feeds on to give it energy. You understand that? So that when it comes to Ramadan, you can stop that as well. Otherwise, in Ramadan time, people are not eating and drinking. But still, they're continuing with their wrong ideas, wrong thinking, wrong intentions. It is no good. So pull yourself back. When you see yourself going crazy, running around, pull and be simple and say, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm going to concentrate on that. That's it. Ask for the support of our Shaykh, inshallah, and fight. May Allah accept it, inshallah. El Fatiha. Thank you. Oh,